In this problem, we're told a 1,100 kilogram car coasts on a horizontal road with a speed of 19 meters per second. After crossing an unpaved sandy stretch of road 32 meters long, its speed decreases to 12 meters per second. A, was the network done on the car positive, negative, or zero? Explain. B, find the magnitude of the average net force on the car in the sandy section. So let's just go ahead and talk about what's going on here. So we have this car, it's going 19 meters per second. It's gonna cross this 32 meter stretch of uh, sandy road and we know its velocity is then going to decrease to 12 meters per second. Uh, we're also given the mass of the car, which is on 1100 kg. And so let's just go ahead and start with A. So for A, they're asking, was the network done on the car positive, negative, zero? So in order to understand this problem, you need to understand that work equals the change in kinetic energy. So work equals the change in kinetic energy. And you also need to know what kinetic energy is. Uh, kinetic energy equals 1 half mv squared. So what I want you to do is think about this for a second. So we know the kinetic energy here, if kinetic energy equals 1 half mv squared, it's going to be the mass, which is 1100, times its velocity. And so we know it's going to go from 19 to 12. So if kinetic energy equals 1 half mv squared, right, the mass is going to stay the same. The only thing that changes is the velocity. So the velocity here is 19 versus 12, which means that if the velocity over here is greater than here, the kinetic energy over here in the beginning is going to be greater than at the end. So what that means, right, kinetic energy here is greater versus here. And if work equals the change in kinetic energy, let's say, for example, I'm just making up a number. It was 1,000 right, joules, and then it goes to 800. This is just made up, but keep in mind, it's just going to serve the same purpose. So let's say it goes from 1,000 to 800, which is going on here, right? Because the velocity starts at a higher number than it is here. That means the change in it is going to be negative because this is greater than this. Because 800 minus 1,000 is negative, right? That's going to be just negative 200 which if this is negative, the work's negative. So is the work gonna be negative or positive? It's gonna be negative because the velocity at the end of the interval is less than the velocity at the beginning. So your answer to A is gonna be a summary of that. You can choose to write out however you want, but just keep in mind it's gonna be negative. So negative uh, work, so work done is negative. So that's your answer to A. What we wanna do now is just go ahead and move on to B. So for B, we're told to find the magnitude of the average net force on the car in the sandy section. So the way we're going to solve this is by using the formula for work, which tells us work is equal to force times distance times uh, the cosine of theta. But in this case, it's going to be moving straight. So the force is just uh, going to be the same. We don't need to take into account cosine. So if work equals force times distance, and then we also know work equals the change in kinetic energy, so change in kinetic energy, that means force times distance equals the change in kinetic energy. So the change in kinetic energy is just the final kinetic energy minus the initial. So force times distance equals 1 half mv final squared, which is the final kinetic energy, minus 1 half mv initial squared. And then if we want to solve for the force, we just have to divide by d. And that's going to give us the force basically equals the change in the kinetic energy divided by the distance. So what we need to do now is just plug in the numbers. So 1 half times the mass of the car, which is 1,100, times uh, the final, which is 12 squared, minus 1 half times the mass, which is 1,100, times the initial velocity, which is 19 squared, all over the distance. So the distance is 32 meters. So what you want to do is just plug this in. So 0.5 times 1100 times 12 squared. And then minus 0 0.5 times 1100 times 19 squared. And then divide by 32. And so when you go ahead, uh, go ahead and do this, you're going to get the force equals minus 3729.6875. So it's basically just going to be, I'm going to round to minus 3,700. And then keep in mind, this is in uh, Newtons. So this is basically going to be equal to uh, 3 or minus 3.7 Newtons. That's going to be the force applied. But keep in mind what the negative sign indicates. It just indicates it's in the opposite direction. And when they're asking for the magnitude, when they say magnitude, they're really talking about the absolute value of whatever your answer is. So the real answer is going to be, I wrote Newtons here. It's uh, kilonewtons sorry because we divided by a thousand because it was in newtons and we put it in kilonewtons but yeah and then magnitude absolute value so it's going to be equal to about 
3.7 kilonewtons. So that's what the magnitude means. So 3.7 kilonewtons, that's going to be the magnitude of the average force on the car. So uh, this is going to be your answer for B. You can either use that or uh, just newtons. So uh, 3.7 kilonewtons, and then your answer to A was negative work. So uh, these are your answers, and hopefully you found this useful.